With Create Studio, making professional videos is easy, even if you've never done it before. In our intuitive drag and drop editor, you can import media, add text, images, and audio, and enhance your videos with motion graphics, text presets, and much more. Effortlessly animate any layer in just one click using our built-in motion presets. You can also create your own custom animations with advanced options and custom easing on our full feature timeline. Build your own character explainer videos with premium 2D and 3D characters. Simply select a character, choose an action, and animate. Adjust the size of your video to fit social, mobile, and other popular formats. Once you're ready, publish your video in your preferred resolution. Creating incredible videos has never been easier. So whether you need a promotional video, a social story, or a gorgeous character explainer, Create Studio is the perfect tool for both entrepreneurs and creators, giving you the flexibility to simply create. So what are you waiting for? Make better videos faster today. What can you create? Hey Josh here from Create Studio and this is Create Studio, this is my account. You can see I've got a ton of folders that I kind of need to sort out and make them a lot you know, neater, I guess. Uh, but yeah, over here, this is where you can go create a new project, um, you know, give it a name, you know, go ahead and create the resolution that you want for your video and then simply create a new project. You can also add a custom resolution down here as well and create your project. But what I want to show you is uh, one of the bonuses that we've giving away. So in this template library, um, we've got a whole bunch of templates, you know, for the template club users. We've also added some free templates and we're going to be adding some more free templates um, for you who don't have the membership. But yeah, so over here, let's say for example, I want to play this one. Okay, so that's the template. And if you do, if you don't want to have the music playing while you're, you know, browsing these, just simply click on the mute over icon over here and you'll see that it plays without muting it, uh, without the audio. And then simply click on use template. I'll just pull, oh, let's play it. And it, basically what it's gonna do is download the assets and import the template into your account. And it's pretty fast, uh, depending on the types of templates they are and the assets that are included. Um, but it, as you can see, it loads really fast like that, okay? And here's the template. If I click on play, you've got to preview it again. Okay, so the same template, of course, as that video. Now this template's, uh, I guess it's a more of a complex type of template because it's quite a long one as you can see. It's got lots of animations, lots of um, elements included. Uh, a lot of the other templates are a lot more simple, but let me show you how you could you know, use this template to create a video to promote your own services. If you wanna sell videos to uh, businesses, you can actually use this template um, to promote your service. So it's really simple to use. Down on the timeline, you've got your music track, and we have these groups of elements that we've created into scenes, okay? So you'll be able to see scene one, we've got this one here, I can simply double click on it, and this takes me into the group, and you can see I've got the character and the text, and if I wanna change anything, I simply zoom in here, I can double click on this text, and it'll open up this group, and let's say I wanna change this text and say this is Tom, so I've done that. And maybe I want to go through and adjust the size of it. You can just simply, you know, drag it up like this. And let's say I want to also adjust the text. I'm going to go through and just select the text and I'm going to go with, I'm going to click on the color. And this one, I'm going to go through and add a gradient onto it to make it nice and colorful. Let's say I want to go with maybe a green color. And it's really that simple, you know, to go through and customize, you know, these templates. They're really fully flexible because they've been all built inside the software. And I've got my other text down here. Okay, so for this text, I'm gonna go through onto advanced. And you can see we've also got things like borders and shadow um, that you can add onto your elements. So let's say I'm gonna make the border be like eight or so. And I'm gonna actually remove that color so that we can just have a border. So you can do fun things like this. Maybe I'll make the, the border a little bit smaller, let's say four. 
Okay, that's looking good. And I'm also going to change this font style, okay? So we've got quick links under here to the colors and the text fonts. So I can click on, you know, a font. Um, we've got these presets as well. So you can really speed things up. And if you want to find a font, I like this one. It's quite nice here. So I might just select that one. Um, but if you want to search for a different font, you can click on the fonts panel. You can go through and search um, for fonts down here. We've got a load of fonts. We'll be adding loads more as well. Um, and let's say, for example, we want to use something like this one. I could click on that. And if I like it, I can also add it to my favorites by clicking on the star. And you'll have to see down here, we've got all my favorites that I can you know, quickly access and you know, adjust everything by simply clicking on it like that. So that one's quite a nice one here. This is Tom. So I'm going to zoom in a bit more and just make it a bit bigger like that. And I also want to go through and change the color of this. So what I could do, this box, I could just simply click on the box. Again, you could click on this link here to open up the color panel. And maybe you want to make it like a, a white color, maybe a little bit lighter, something like that. I could do, kind of play around with it, see you know, what looks good to you. Maybe we'll make it a little bit light like that. And if I go back out of here to the main project, you can see it's been updated on my video, which is super cool. And it's really fast to do that. Um, so you can go through and you know change that text uh, and yeah, kind of go through and adjust everything. Um, let's say for scene two, I want to adjust the scene. I can, again, I can either double click on this group or I could just double click on the canvas and it will open up the group. And maybe I want to change the pose of this character. So what I could do is click on Tom, drop down his actions, and then just simply click on the action to, to select it. And then just simply click on the uh, drop down and look for an action that I want. So maybe I want to go with angry. Okay, so you can see now like he's a, he's very angry and you can see that. And again, you can also change all the text. You could change the background color. Let's say I want to make this background, I don't know, maybe a green or a red. I could, you know, really play around with that. Maybe a red like that because he's angry. Um, you can change this color as well. Maybe you'll make him a red, but you can also do this. You can actually click on the eyedropper and then select the color. And if you want to, um, sometimes you need to like zoom in to get the exact color you want. Um, but you simply click on it and you can see you've added the color. And I could maybe adjust that slightly as well, like that. Yeah, and it's really that easy. So I go back to the main project and you can see my template's been updated. And what's really cool as well, you can, let's say over here we need to change up, you know, the agency name. So instead of having your agency, you could just add your own agency name. So let's say I want to say uh, create, let's say my agency is called Creative Studio. Okay, I'll make it like that. And maybe I'll make this center like so, bring it up. And I'll maybe I'll position it up like that. And I'll also change the color. So let's say we'll make it a red to really stand out. So meet Creative Studio. You can also change the background color of this circle box. And if I go across a more, you can see that we've got this logo. So the, a really cool feature that we've built in is the replace button. So for videos and images, you can actually swap them with your own media. And yeah, it will basically keep all the animations and the settings that are on the template. So what I'm gonna do is import my logo by clicking on import media, this plus button. And I'm gonna go over to create studio logo files and just bring this one in here. So there's my logo, you can see. So all I need to do, again, is you can see I've got this, the animation goes like this, it kind of uh, comes out like that. So all I need to do is click on replace and then select my media. And it's that fast huh, that you can go through and you know customize these templates. So you can see how good that looks. And you basically just go through, you know, and go into each of the scenes, adjust it as you like. Let's say this one here. I would just add my website, you know, my text font. Maybe I'd use, you know, let's say I want to use BBAS or, you know, kind of customize that. And you can see, you know, just zoom in, just bring it up. And you can also use um, different smart links. So we're going to link, for example, to center the element. Um, let's go back over here. I want to uh, probably put it like here, for example. But um, let's say also you kind of, you're over here, but you want to make it centered. You can use this little quick link here as well. Um, and really speed, you know, quickly make your videos looking really cool. You can add also maybe a background image instead of having the shape and, you know, add also shapes to this slide. 
let's say I want to add you know some patterns I could go through and just click that one and just bring it up like this and I could also drag it down here maybe put it below and I could adjust the opacity and now I've got a really nice looking design slide okay some of the elements also on the timeline um, you'll see they're locked uh, we did this so that you know when you're adjusting the text it doesn't select it doesn't select you know the, the background and you kind of mess around with it but you can unlock it of course and then you know change click on it to select it and then you know change out the color um, again like this blue one I could just go through and you know select a different color if I like Maybe like red or something like that and if I go back to the main project you see it's all updated okay um, so yeah again I'd go over here click on the logo click replace and select my logo and I can just position it nicely on the circle and I have my video ready to publish within just a few clicks basically um, so if I click on publish now I can go through and select the file type click on the destination let's say I'll select, I'll select my desktop and call it just some random name and then I'd click on publish video and I'd publish my video so yeah that's how easy it is to go through and use these templates um, I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to check it out and yeah we really want to build a, a really cool community of creative people in this group so um, post you know videos that you've created with the software we'd love to check them out and see what you're creating and yeah each day each week each month we're going to be adding lots of really helpful video creative tips uh, and videos and articles and posts into this group to really help you to make better videos faster you know with create studio In this video, you're going to learn how to work with characters inside Create Studio. So first of all, on the left hand side panel, you'll be able to see we've got the Studio Builder over here. And what I can do is go over to Backgrounds. I'm just going to go grab a background first of all uh, to start my project. So I'm going to click on this gym, just drag and drop it onto the canvas and you'll be able to preview your background. Okay, so you can go into the background by double clicking on it. And you can see the separate elements over here and if you want to delete something or move something to a different position you can do that um, and they all have preset motion uh, animations on them so you can adjust them if you want as well you can just drop drop down over here and um, you know change the motion preset or you can delete it okay so that's uh, the background i'm just going to go back out of here and what i'd like to do when you're creating your videos and you've got your background already set it's good a good thing to do is simply lock the background and that means that you know when you're adding other elements on top you won't be able to um, move the background and it. it's kind of nice to have it all set in place like that so let's go and grab um, a character so I'm going to grab this girl over here and just simply drag and drop it onto the canvas you can position it as you like you can make it bigger or smaller it's really that simple um, so I'm just going to drag her over to the start and you can see if I just play this through right now that we've got the background animating in and we've got her in an idle kind of position um, for these animated characters for the supreme ones over here these ones um, they basically start in an idle position and then they do the action and they go back into the idle position meaning that you can add multiple actions and it will work in a seamless kind of loop so uh, let's go ahead and uh, create some actions so first of all um, if you haven't seen uh, the actions what you can do is simply drop down this over here and you have two different lines the first one is actions and the next one is for animations. So let's go ahead and work on the actions in this demo. So simply click on the action. Once it's selected, you're about to see a drop down menu and just drop it down and you can select an action for your character. So let's say um, we want to go with wave. Okay. And then what I can do is if I want to add another action, just simply click on add action and let's go with dumbbells. Okay. So if I preview this, you can see we've got the wave action. It goes back to idle and then into the dumbbells and then back to idle okay so that's how easy it is to go and work with your characters if you wanted to actually go through and um, you know make her way from the left hand what you can do is simply flip her and you can see that it makes the actions now all go from the left hand side like that um, so yeah you can play around with these kind of things so that's just a basic uh, overview and intro into working with characters um, in the following video I'm going to show you how to create some uh, animations as well with the characters like things like walking from a certain position to another um, and some other helpful tips what if I told you you can now create entire doodle sketch videos inside create studio 
And what if you could completely control the path of your animations with point and click flexibility? Well, now you can. Thanks to our latest update, you can do it all in just seconds. Sketch videos just like this are perfect for YouTube and educational content, VSLs, and promotional videos. And in our latest update, you can now sketch images, videos, text, and even characters within a few clicks. And what's cool is you now have both options to draw out the path manually or save time and allow our software to do it all automatically for you. So let's dive inside and take a closer look at how it works. All right, so I've got some projects set up and what I wanna do is run through and show you how to create the doodle effect on each of the different types of media. So the first one is video. So if you go into the drop down over here, you'll be able to see we've got a new row which says doodle effects. So simply click on the plus icon to add a doodle effect. And with this video, what I like to do is use the hide hand option so that it just draws out the video and reveals it like a transition like this. Cool. So you can also adjust the duration by simply dragging this out to the right if you want to make it slower or bring it to the left to make it faster. And you see it looks really good as like a transition to a video clip. Okay, the next one is images. So what we can do is actually draw out a manual path with this illustration. So I'm just gonna to go to the image over here and go to doodle effects. And this image I basically got over here on the images icon. If you go to illustrations and go to line characters, you can grab the same one over here. And I'm just gonna simply click on the settings icon and then go to manual and then click on edit path. And this is gonna enable me to draw out my points on the image and reveal it exactly as I like. So. What you need to make note of is you need to hold down shift and click to add a point. And if you want to remove points, hold down shift plus control and then click to remove the point. So I'm holding down shift. I'm going to left click and just draw out this image. And you can see the white dotted line basically shows you the path of the hand, which is going to draw out the image. And the purple part on the outside is the amount of the image that's going to be revealed, okay, when it's drawn out. So you can adjust that drawing size by bringing it up like this if you want it to make it you know, really reveal a lot of the image. Um, if you want to do something really precise, you can make it a lot smaller like that. And yeah, just reveal certain parts of the image, okay? So I'm just going to bring it up to about 69 or so. And what I'm going to do is just continue drawing out this quickly. Okay, cool. So I've added all my points. And if you want to make adjustments to your points, you can simply left click without holding shift and you can move the points again like that. Really easily you can you know go through and you can also add more points by holding down shift and click, okay? So let's just have a look at what that looks like. If I click on finish and just preview this. Cool, so that's really, really good. And again, you can adjust the duration if you want to make it faster or slower. You can also you know select a different hand and we've added a whole bunch of new hands at the end over here. If I just go across, you have to see we've got some new hands that you can select as well to reveal your image, okay? So a couple of other options as well. So you've got the hand size. So if you make the time indicator in between the animation and go to doodle effects, you can adjust the size of your hand. If I just zoom out a bit, what you wanna make sure of is that the hand isn't too small. So if you have it like this, you're gonna see that it's gonna cut out the hand and it's not gonna look very good. So make sure that the hand is big enough to kind of come outside the actual canvas of your video. And yeah, you can just go through and play that through. So just select the hand and let's maybe something like this. Make this one a bit bigger. And you can also adjust the amount of shaking. So if you wanna make it shake quite a bit while it's revealing, you can do that as well. And let's just play this through. So now I've got my character over here. I'm gonna show you how to reveal the character. Again, so you go to doodle effects and let's go to manual edit path and I'm going to hold down shift and just simply draw out this character. So what I want to show you is you can see that some of this image is not being fully revealed. I'm just going to remove the unmask when it's done and let's go with this one here and let's just preview this. So as you can see you've got this mask that I've drawn, but it's not revealing the entire character, which doesn't look very good as you can see like that. So what you wanna do, by default we have unmask when it's done. And this is gonna basically, once it's drawn out the character, it's gonna remove the mask so you can see the entire character. So make sure that's selected when you're drawing out characters, it looks the best. And again, when you are drawing out the character, what you wanna do is make sure that you're revealing as much of the 
character as possible like this okay so just bringing this out like that and let's go to finish and I'll preview this so you might want to go through and actually select like a 3d character hand like this and I'll just quickly adjust that once more if we go over here I might bump up that drawing size of it as well like this and go to finish editing so it's looking really good I just play it one more time and it's probably best as well if you're doing a character just to have like the idle action first so that once it's drawing it out it's in idle and then once it's revealed then you have your action that you want to show like the thumbs up or something like that okay cool so for the text effect we've got the same one as we had before so again you just go to text effects select doodle and then you can adjust you know the hand and yeah have your text doodling and we've also made sure that when you add the doodle effect that by default we've added the anchor point to the top left so that it will write from the left to the right without moving the text like that and one other thing as well we've added um, the ability if you hold down shift and then click and drag you'll be able to see that now you can move your objects in an entire you know straight line horizontally as well as vertically like this which is really good for animating and we've also added the option if you select you know an object on the timeline and hold down shift and then click again you'll be able to see that it selects everything from the top to the bottom like that um, which is really helpful if you want to select everything like that and create a group and you can also manually just hold down command and click to select you know multiple tracks like that so i hope you enjoy this update um, as always make sure to download the latest version to see these in your account and yeah have fun creating All right, so let's take a look at what's new inside Create Studio. Now, the first thing we've done is with the doodle effect, we've added the ability to manually draw out text paths, okay? So before we had it with images and videos, but now we've also added the ability to manually draw out your text path, and you can simply, you know, clear the path and go in here and, you know, shift click, add your manual path like so, and draw out your text. You can also obviously go through with the automatic one as well to save yourself some time. And what we've also done is now added the ability also to erase your media using, you know, a pencil rubber or we've got these whiteboard erasers as well and a whole bunch of different types of hands as you can see. So let's just preview this like so. And that's looking really, really good. So you can also go ahead obviously and let's say we want to grab maybe something like this, like a whiteboard one and it just rubs off like that. What we've also done is we've improved the left side panel studio builder. So you've got to see now that the thumbnails are a lot bigger. We've added now just two thumbnails per row. And this is going to give you a better experience when navigating through the assets, um, having a bigger preview like so. And one other thing we've done is we've added under the doodle category over here, for all users we've added a whole bunch of placing hands. So this is free for all Create Studio users once you update. So let me click on that. And you're about to see we've got all these hands either with text or images and they basically place on the the media and you can go ahead and adjust that so let's say for example you want to go grab this hand here with an image i can simply drag and drop this on the screen and you're about to see if i just play this through that we've got this hand placing the media on and you can click on this replace image and click on the replace button and choose your own media and it will basically place that on like so which is really cool and it also comes back over here and drags it off like that. Now one other thing as well with the uh, doodle effect is if we go and grab, I'm gonna go grab my Create Studio logo like this and place this on and I'll make the color black and just center that. Is you can obviously go through and if I add the doodle effect like this, I can hide the hand and this is gonna draw it on without having that uh, you know, hand drawing it. And the same thing with the erasing, we can enable that and hide the hand like so. And if we just preview this, you're about to see this really cool effect you can add. Like that. And you can also go through and you know adjust that manual path so you can draw it on and off however you like. But these are the main updates inside Create Studio. 
And to celebrate these new Doodle effects, what we've done is put together a massive package of all our Doodle effects, characters, and transitions and things like that. And we're making them available for the next couple of days at a special low one-time price. So make sure to click on the button below to check out that package. Uh, you can also get access via the All Access Pass. And also make sure to download the latest version of Create Studio to see these updates added your, into your account. So I hope you've enjoyed these updates and as always have fun creating and have a great week. In the latest update inside Create Studio, we've added some amazing new improvements as well as feature updates. And the first one is our text effects. So you would have seen the first effect inside the intro video with the typewriter. We've also added in a number counter effect as well as a random character effect. And I'll show you how they work in just a sec. And in the coming weeks and months, we're gonna be adding in a whole bunch of extra text effects for you. Now we now also support right to left text. So if you have an Arabic language, you wanna create a video in an Arabic language or a language that works from right to left, you can basically select your text and click on the settings panel and make sure to select right to left at the bottom of the settings to have your text go from right to left. Now I've also made a massive improvement in terms of the speed of our rendering. So now your videos will render four to five times faster. And along the same lines of rendering, we've also enabled the ability to export your videos with alpha transparency. So you can basically select an element or your video, render it with the alpha transparency, and you can also render it in MOV or WebM format so that you can bring those elements into other video editors and basically use them uh, in your videos. And another cool update we're just adding in is we're adding in 100 animated icons into Studio Builder. So in the icons category, you'll see these flat icons that have been custom created in the same style as the Supreme animated characters. So you can use these to give you a lot more variety in terms of creating your explainer videos. So let's go into the software and I'm gonna show you how to use some of the features uh, and how they work inside Create Studio. All right, so let me show you inside Create Studio and how to add the text effects as well as the right to left text option and also how to publish your videos with alpha transparency. So if you add a text layer, just by clicking on the text layer over here, you can add your text and I've just added some random text over here. And when you click on the drop down, you'll see another row which says text effects, okay? So you can still add animations to your text and you can also add text effects. If I click on the plus icon, and if I go and select typewriter, you'll be able to see now that the text basically types on like so. And as you can see, that's a little bit fast. So what I'm gonna do is just drag this out and let's say I'll make it about two seconds long. You can see it's a much better pace for that amount of text. You'll also see that it basically animates from the right to the left. So if I go through and click on the rotation point and then select the left point over here, You'll be able to see now that the text animates from the left in just one kind of fluid motion, just like you would type in a, in a form, like a text form. Okay, so this is how to add the typewriter effect. I'm just gonna delete this text and add a new text layer. And what I'm gonna do is click on the text and go to text effects and go to number counter, okay? Now this one works uh, like so. So if you select your text, go to the text settings, you can basically put a starting property, so let's say zero, or if you want to start maybe at 50, for example, and then you can select the end value. So let's say 24,765, okay? So massive number, I'm gonna go through and just make it a little bit longer, maybe three seconds. And let's just preview this. So you can see it basically counts up to the exact number that you select, okay? So you can go through obviously and change up the text fonts. You could use, you know, really, nice style like BBAS and you can see it animates like so, okay? So you can really use these in a, in a lot of different ways. You could add like an arc animation and then have the percentage like 74 and then add the percentage label like so. Um, and that's how you use the number counter effect. So let me show you also how to use the random character one. So if you add a text layer again, and for this text layer, let's just say um, this is cool like so, okay? And I'll just bring it up and I'll center that, let's go to the start, like so. And what I'm gonna do is just click on the drop down again, go to text effects, 
and select random characters. Okay, so this basically animates in a way that, if I just preview this so you can see it, it has random characters appearing until it comes to your final text that you have set, okay? So what you can do also is basically use different characters. So if you don't want to have alphabets like this, you could have your own characters. So you could use like special characters like this, for example. And basically these are the characters that will appear before your final text appears. So let's just go through like this, like that, okay? Um, you could also just use numbers, for example, if you you know want to just play around with numbers or yeah, things like that. So let's just play it like this, okay? And yeah, you can be creative and create cool effects like that. So that's how you use the text effects. Also on the text settings options over here on the text panel, you can see that we've got the option to select right to left. So if I select on for this, you'll be able to see that the text, if I go through and just type something in, let's say for example, hello, you can see that the text goes from right to left. So you've got the H-E-L-L-O from right to left, okay? Now also what you can do is export your videos with alpha transparency. So if you have like a, you know, an animated icon or something you wanted to, or a call to action button or things like that, you could basically go to publish and over here you can select WebM with transparency or MOV with transparency. And it'll basically export your video uh, without the background image or the background color, okay? So make sure if you're gonna use that option that you don't have a background image um, or you don't have a background shape that you've selected, you just wanna have, you know, you could have a background color like this and it won't export that background color, it would just have a transparent background. So those are the main updates inside Create Studio, as well as the faster rendering you're gonna see when you render your videos. We've also added in some extra updates you, which you'll be able to see in the updates panel inside your Create Studio account. Um, and things like, for example, the text to speech, we've also added the options now to add pauses to your uh, text. So you can simply add the pause and equals to the amount of seconds based on the number that you specify. So I hope you enjoyed this update. If you like it, let us know in the comments below and add a like to this video. And yeah, we look forward to making amazing new improvements and new features in the coming weeks and months as we continue building our Create Studio. Hey guys, it's Josh here from Create Studio, and I'm super excited to share with you our latest update inside our software. So as you would have seen, we've added the ability to animate text layers by word, by letters, and you can also add some really cool effects in there as well. So let me show you how that all works. So I'm gonna go and add a text layer and just make this text black. And I'm just gonna type in, what can you create like this? And I'll just center that text like so. Cool. So what you can do is either add motion presets or custom animations. I'm gonna go with motion presets to start with and just show you this. So let's go with um, backslide top like this. And you have to see when I play this through that we've got the text animating as one complete layer, okay? So if we go over to the settings option over here and click on words, you can now see that our text layer animates in separately by each word. And the same thing, you can go through and select letters as well. And you'll be able to see now that the, the text layer animates by separate letters. So let's go and adjust this. Let's go maybe make it about 40 or so. Um, and you can adjust obviously the animation over here. So where it starts from, where it ends. Um, and you've got a whole bunch of other animation options. Let's go with reverse, for example. And now you can see that it animates from the right to the left. And if we go with random like this, be able to see that it animates randomly like that. So you can really create amazing and unique custom animations just by simply adjusting these different properties down here, okay? So again, you can do the same thing with the out animations. You can go with, I'm just gonna go to my favorites and go to this one here, back rotate and slide bottom. And what I'm gonna do with this one is 
go with letters and I'm gonna go with random and just bring this up a lot like that and let's have a look at this so you can see they all kind of fall down like they're kind of shattering looks really really cool like that okay so you can do the same thing again also with custom animation so if I go with over here and just add a custom animation um, and let's go with position let's go with scale rotation you can add as many different properties as you like text spacing as well um, and what I'm going to do is first just bring this off like that um, and then just center this like so so that it slides up like that I might also want to rotate that at the start so let's just rotate this a little bit like that and just bring it down a bit more like that so it kind of rotates on and comes straight like that and the cool thing with custom animations is that you can control the easing so this can add a whole variety of different kind of animations and motion for your animations so what I'm going to do is just uh, make this to words for now like this and you'll see that when this comes up like this it animates nicely like that but if I go through and adjust the easing let's say I want to go with back for example you can see it kind of bounces if I go with elastic like so you can see it kind of bounces like that so what I'm going to do is go with back and I'm also going to adjust this to letters and let's just see what it looks like it looks really cool if I wanted to create this more of an arc I could go with the elastic one and I could just adjust the duration because it comes quite fast and let's just preview that and it looks really really nice so those are the main options you have currently with the text animations and you can really create a whole bunch of really cool effects and animations for your text really really quickly and um, what we've also done is added the ability to rotate colors so let's just go and grab this transition and I'm just going to center that like so and you see we've got this transition which is this orangey color if I go to advanced now you will have to see we've got the option to rotate color so I can just go through and adjust this and you can quickly change up the colors of any media so whether it be an image or a video you can basically apply these filters on top to change the colors of your content like that and we've also added in some additional easing presets you've obviously done here we've got sign expo back uh, a rough inertia bounce we've got different types of easing presets you can check out over here as well to add onto your animation so i hope you enjoy this update if you like it make sure to give this video a thumbs up and if you can leave a review either on captera or trustpilot or even on a facebook page that would be a massive help for us and yeah hope you enjoy this update and have a great day hey in our latest update we've added a couple of new features as well as some bug fixes and improvements inside create studio now the first one is we've added the ability to import lottie files and lottie files are basically a new type of animated file which comes with vector layers so that they're fully scalable and they look really good in any resolution um, and the cool thing about it is you can actually uh, download a whole bunch of really nice looking free ones at this site Lottie Files over here. So what you'd do is just go through and let's say for example you're on a dog. I'm just going to hit search over here and you're about to go through and sort by free uh, animations. And you can see over here we've got this one that I just downloaded. Um, there's a whole bunch of them that have been submitted by different you know, video creators. Um, and yeah, they're all free to use um, when you select the free tag. Um, so what you do is just click on the animation and let's say you want to download this one, you simply download the Lottie JSON file. And the cool thing about it as well is you can actually edit the colors of these animations. So let's say for example you want to animate uh, you know, one of these colors, maybe the tag, I could go grab that and maybe make it a blue color, hit update like that, and you'll be able to see I've got that updated and what you would do then is just um, you know update it and then download that file so what I'm going to do is just go back over to create studio and let's just go through and import this one again so I'm going to click on this Lottie import Lottie file button and click on import Lottie file and let's just go grab that file that we just imported now the Lottie files won't be imported over here you won't see them here but they are imported onto the canvas okay so what you can do is just then you know drag it out and the cool thing about it is the uh, all looping ones so that you know you can have it whatever duration you like and let's say you want to add a position animation I'm gonna go click on add and then position and I'll just position it off the screen like this and then I'm gonna move this off the screen over here as well 
I'm also going to adjust this animation, make it about four seconds. And the last thing I want to do is adjust the easing. So I'm going to make it linear, so it goes one speed, and I'm also going to make it for both, so that it goes one speed continually like that. So let's just preview this animation. Cool, so that's the first update inside Create Studio. The next one is we've added the ability to publish your videos at a higher quality resolution. So the standard quality is the one that we currently have. And if you really want a really super high quality video uh, render, simply select high quality. It will take a bit longer to actually export the video, but it will be in a higher quality. So this is another feature that we've added in. Um, and we also added a whole bunch of bug fixes and things like that. So yeah, make sure to check out the full blog post link below this video and download the latest version. I hope you enjoy it. And as always, have fun creating. Hey guys, we've got a really exciting new update inside Create Studio, and that's our text-to-speech creator. So once you update to the latest version, which is 1.1, you'll be able to see on the media panel this icon here, text-to-speech. So simply click on that, and you'll see a pop-up. And here you basically just add your text. So say, hey, welcome to Create Studio, like so. And then you can select an accent and also a voice so let's say we we'll just select day for example you can adjust the speed and the pitch and click on generate and then simply click on preview and you've got your text-to-speech voiceover and when you want to add it to your media library simply click on this button here and this will add it to your media library so if I bring this up again what I'm going to do now is just type in a French uh, text that I got from Google Translate and what you can actually do is select a different language so we've got English um, obviously American British, Australian, we've also got Spanish, German, French, um, and other languages down here as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and select French for this one, because I've got it in French. Um, and then I can go th through and click on Generate, and click Preview. Bonjour, bienvenue dans Creator Studio. Profitez de notre nouveau créateur de synthèse vocale. Great, so as you can see, um, got a really nice French speaking accent, and we've got different ones down here as well. So let's say I wanna go with, uh, let's say with Jacques, so I can get a, a male French voice. Bonjour, bienvenue dans Creator Studio. Profitez de notre nouveau créateur de synthèse vocale. And this is really powerful, especially if you want to start marketing into other languages. Um, you can basically, you know, create, uh, you know, the same video that you have and just use these text-to-speech um, languages and you can start to market to a global audience, especially when you're doing um, different ads targeting different nations. You can have specific landing pages and you can basically, you know, use these text-to-speech voiceovers to communicate to people in different languages. So I hope you enjoy this. Um, yeah, again, once you add your script, just simply click on import to media library or add it into your media library. So I bring this one over here. And to see this update, what you'll need to do is basically close the app and then open the app again. And after about five minutes or so, it will basically download the latest version. And when you go back into the welcome screen, you'll see a pop-up saying, um, you know, download is ready and click to restart and it'll basically restart it and you'll, you'll see this option to it with the text-to-speech. So if I just grab this text-to-speech, drag it onto the timeline, I can go through and click on this drop-down to see the actual waveform as well. And if I click on play. Bonjour, bienvenue dans Creator Studio. Profitez de notre nouveau créateur de synthèse vocale. You can see I've got really nice looking uh, text-to-speech um, voiceover. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, make sure to add a like on this video and add a comment below. And we look forward to making more amazing features inside Create Studio. Hey, it's Josh here from Create Studio, and I'm really excited to show you our latest update inside our software. So, as you would have seen, we've got a new camera tool, which enables you to create really dynamic animations and movements inside your projects. So, I've got this project here where we've got a character jumping on, waving, and some text animating. And to make it more dynamic, I'm going to zoom in and around it. So, let me show you how it all works. 
So first of all, I'm just gonna go through and click on the camera tool up here. And this enables you to enter the camera mode where you can animate uh, you know, the zooming and the panning and things like that. So you'll see that we've got this pink border and you can basically move this in around where you want the camera to zoom into. Um, and you've got a couple of options over here as well and the plus icon on the camera layer to add the animation. So let's go and click on the plus icon and you can see I've added an animation now. And to add the animations, you need to make sure that you place the time indicator after the actual um, animation or before it, okay? So we want it to animate from here to here. And I'm gonna select this and just drag it in like this, okay? So now the animation is gonna go from completely zoomed out to zooming in and kind of coming across. So if I just play this, I'll show you what it looks like. Like that. And then at this point, when the, as the text is kind of animating on, I want to kind of pan across and zoom across. So I'm just going to click on the plus icon again and then move the time indicator at the end of the animation and then just kind of come across and I'm just going to you know, make it smaller so it zooms in as well like this. So let's zoom. And then as the next text comes in, about here, I'm going to start animating that as well. So let's go and click on the plus icon move the time indicator to the end and then kind of zoom out and come down a bit like this. Cool. And then after that, what we want to do is zoom completely out. So I'm going to click on the plus icon again, move the time indicator to the end of the animation. If you see, if I bring it into the middle, you won't be able to add the animation because uh, we need to basically set the start and end point. So you see, we've got a little, uh, notes telling you to move the indicator to the end or the beginning and over here what we can do is simply um, click on the expand camera tool to make it full width what you can also do is just double click and that will also expand it for a little shortcut okay so let's just preview this what it looks like so we've got that nice kind of zoom Cool. So that's how you can really use this. Um, and there's many different other cases you can use it uh, to make it really, uh, you know, dynamic in your videos. Um, and another thing you can do as well is actually adjust the easing of your animation. So if I click on this tool over here with this animation selected, and let's say I want to go with um, in. So I'm going to go select back. So it kind of like zooms in and then comes out. So let's just preview what that looks like on this one. cool so you can do it like yeah lots of different animations um, and really play around with it to have a lot of fun and again you can adjust the duration of your animation as well to make it faster or slower um, but yeah that's the main kind of concept around you know creating animations using the camera once you've um, completed your animating you can simply exit the camera by clicking over here to exit the camera mode or also clicking on this icon here so let's just um, exit that mode and then you can go back in here and start, you know, customizing your video and, you know, playing around with the different elements. And again, just to click on the camera tool, you can go back into the camera and delete the animations or adjust them as you like as well. Um, so yeah, that's the camera tool. Um, let me go sh through as well and show you another option, that, another cr uh, feature that we've created, which is the replace color tool. So I'm going to go grab a character. Uh, let's say, let's go and grab maybe the superhero guy. Okay. So what you can do now is if I just exit this camera mode and grab this character and go to advanced, you'll see we've got the option to replace colors. So if I click on replace colors and just zoom in a bit, what I want to do is change the color of his top. So if I click on the add replace, click on the color selector and then go grab this red color, I can then go and adjust this color of his clothes by simply, you know, changing it up like this. Maybe you want to make it blue or a pink. You can really play around with it and make you know a really nice looking character. And you can adjust the to tolerance so that um, yeah, depending on the on the color that's selected, um, you can have a less uh, of an effect. Um, but let's say you also want to go through and add another color replacement and change that yellow, and maybe make it green. Yeah, you can really play around with it and have a lot of fun with this. Um, and again, adjust the tolerance. You can also adjust the brightness and saturation. So something like that. 
and let's go and add another color replacement and maybe we'll just um, maybe this back bit so I'm gonna select, select the color selector and maybe make this green color Okay, something like that and again you want to kind of play around with the tolerance um, as well as the brightness and saturation and you can see how quickly you can go through and adjust these colors so yeah that's another tool that we've added in to help you to you know customize the characters a bit more um, and yeah those are the main features that we've added in this update make sure to um, update to the latest version inside create studio and yeah if you like this video give it a like and we really appreciate it if you could add a review as well either to Trustpilot or Captera. Um, it really helps us with our business. So yeah, thanks again for checking out this video. Hope you enjoy this update and have a great day. All right, so as you can see, we've got a whole bunch of new scroll stoppers inside our template library. And you can go through and browse through these done for you templates and fully customize them. Or you can go ahead and create one from scratch inside the editor as well. So what I'm gonna do is, I'm just gonna go grab this one here and just use this template. All right, so as you can see, we've got our template here. And what we can do is just double click on this over here and go into the actual template. And you have to see it's really easy. You can go through and quickly replace your background image by clicking on replace. And I'll just go grab this one here. I'll just make it, you know, a nice big size like that. And we can also go through and customize everything. So you can go through and replace your you know, profile picture. So I'm gonna go grab a different logo over here and just bring this up like that. And you can go through obviously and change the text. Let's call this one um, coffee lovers something like that and you can go through and just you know reposition it you can also adjust the likes you know change the text and what you could also do as well if you see the scroll stopper in the on the top just simply hide that so that you can see it while you're making your edits and that will really help you to you know customize this as you like and then once you've done that just simply add it back and you have to preview it like so Cool, so that's how you can uh, customize that. You can also click on this hide marked tracks to see every um, you know, layer over here. So let's say for example, you wanna you know, remove that heart uh, icon, just remove that one there and add this one back over like that. Um, and yeah, you can just customize it as you like, like so. 
and create your templates really quickly. So that's um, using the done for you templates. Now, if you want to go through and create one from scratch, what you could do is just create a new uh, project and use Facebook and Instagram so that it's square. I might just go back to advanced settings and click on light to see it a bit better. And on the studio panel over here, if you click on scroll stoppers and click on the UI, and you'll be able to see we've got these done for you interfaces, okay? So let's go through and maybe I'll grab, maybe we'll grab this dark UI here and just drag and drop it onto the uh, canvas over here. And what I wanna do is then go through and grab an effect. So I'm just gonna double click to go into this um, project here. And if I go over to scroll stoppers, go to effects and We've got to see we've got a whole bunch over here. Maybe I'll go grab the chameleon. I'm just going to drag and drop this one like that. Maybe we'll add it to the top or bottom and resize it like so. Cool. And then what I'm going to do is just go over to my media. You can import your own media, of course, or use our you know, media library here. So let's go and grab, uh, let's say, forest. And maybe I'll grab something like that yeah and play around with this or this one here so once you've got your image you can just simply um, click on replace media this one here and click on replace and just grab your image like that that looks pretty cool and again you can go through and you know select the image if you want to change that profile picture um, or your business one maybe I'll grab this one here and change that to this logo here adjust your business like that and yeah just go ahead and fully customize it as you like so you can also go through and you know if you wanted to remove one of these ones just select that and hit delete just probably play this around let's say and yeah you've got your scroll stopper done and ready to publish so that's how to quickly and easily you know use the templates or go ahead and build your own ones um, in create studio Hi, Arnie here, and today I'm going to show you how to make this attention-grabbing video. Okay, so first of all, I want to mention that a couple of the assets used can be purchased for a few credits, or are included in your All Access Pass. So the first thing I did was grab a video uh, from Pexels, so we're going to place that here, and make sure that it's expanded, and it's a little bit long, so let's, uh, let's reduce that down here, maybe to about uh, 8 seconds. Okay, we're going to lock that in place for now. Then we're going to go into the studio to the scroll stoppers and go to UI, which is user interface. And I chose the standard headline right here. We're going to bring that in here. Okay, now that's a little bit large, so I'm going to just zoom in on that. Okay, and let's ungroup this and unlock that one. Good. Okay, let's grab that again. And I'm going to make that a bit smaller here fit the middle and let's uh, let's fit the screen here so we can see everything at once great okay one thing I always like to do beforehand also is to make sure that the snapping on the canvas is on again we can highlight that and grab it and let's center that right about there perfect now where it says replace media I already downloaded also just to show you here a picture of a dolphin so I'm going to do that. So we're going to take this, replace, and replace that with the dolphin. Now it's a little bit low, so I'm going to just bring that up. Now if you recall also, if you press the shift key, you can slide along the vertical or along the horizontal without it moving up and down and uh, in the other direction. Okay, so let's just bring that up, uh, let's say to about that. So it looks fairly centered. Good. Okay, the next step we're going to do is go back into Studio and to scroll stoppers and let's look for a couple of effects here uh, so the one that I downloaded there was two here one is the uh, fish so let's grab that one okay and let's see that just that size let's uh, let's bring everything here down to match the fish here I know we can do this all at once but that's easy just to do it like that that's fine Okay, we'll unlock that one and again make these nice and even. Perfect. 
and lock that again. Okay, so we're going to take the fish now and reduce it in size to match the size of where the dolphin is. Okay, I'll bring that up something like that. Okay, maybe we'll squish that down a little bit, see how that looks. And we'll just bring that underneath the dolphin and the headline there, so we're going to bring this down uh, to there. Okay, that's good. Now if you want to get this exact, you can really zoom in here and you can see, for example, where the dolphin is, which is right there. And we can just expand that out right to the edge. Same thing with the fish. We can expand that right out to the edge so it looks a little bit neater. Okay, you can do that on the other side as well. Control zero will bring us back here. Great. So now when it's playing, that looks pretty good so far. Okay, so we're going to start off uh, zoomed in on the dolphin and then bring the shark in. So let's just bring the shark in right now. Let's just do it right here. We're going to go again to the uh, scroll stop for effects and bring that shark in. And he will come in like, there he is. Okay, it's centered nicely, so let's leave him there. And I'm just going to reduce again the size there. Okay, so now we just got to play around with the, um, the zoom effect. So we'll open up the camera. And we're going to start this off zoomed in right on the dolphin. So let's say right about there. Okay, then before the shark comes in, we're going to start zooming out. So we're going to grab the camera effect here and do an animation. And we will have the end result as large as the entire ad here, not the entire screen. So right about, right about here. Okay, so all we'll see at the end is the dolphin and the headline, not above and below it. Okay, so if we just watch how that's going to come in, this will start expanding, and then the shark will come in from the side. Okay, so let's see, see how that looks. And that's it. So I hope you enjoyed that. Um, play around with it. There's lots of different effects you can do with this, and have fun. Hi, Arnie here with a tutorial on using green screen and color removal. Okay, so I've added a factory background here and I've also 
added a video with some gears on a green background. And as you can see, these gears are moving. Now what I wanted to do was add some animation to maybe this part of the machinery here. Now green screen technique is where you can take an image or video that's on a solid color background and remove that background so you can place the image or video on any background. It's typically done on a green background as green is a good contrast color. Now any color can be used but it can't be found within the object itself. So let's take a look at how we remove this green screen. We're going to go to the Advanced tab and go to Remove Color. And we're going to enable it. Now we can choose a color by hex code or we can just use the color picker. And you can see how it, the color changes over the color picker to the green. Press it and it disappears. Now you can see there's still some green around the edges here and what we're going to do now is use the threshold and we can use this back and forth to get out as much of the green as possible. Now as you can see if we go too far it takes out a lot of the color. So we want to get it as best as possible. Let's say something like that. And we can use the edge fading to soften up the edges slightly to get rid of any green remnants. And now we can place it over the machinery the way we like it. That's great. I'm going to add a little shadow here just to make it stand out a little bit better. And now when we play it, you'll see we have some animation over the machinery. For this next part of the tutorial, I'm going to take this winter cabin and I've downloaded a video of some snowflakes and as you can see they're on a black background. So we want to remove that black background so that the snowflakes overlay the background of the cabin. So how we do that is we go into the blend mode here and we can choose a number of different blend modes. The one that works best here is the screen mode. So when you press this it will get rid of the black background and only show the snowflakes. So now when we play it, we have a beautiful winter scene. Well, I hope you enjoyed that tutorial. Thanks for watching and happy creating! Alright, so in the latest update in Create Studio, we've added the ability to upload your own custom text font. So this has been a really highly requested feature and it's really simple to do. Simply uh, download a WOFF2 formatted file and import it into the software and it will show up on your font list inside the editor. Um, and if you've got a different type of font file, you can simply convert it into this file by following this tutorial. Um, it's really quick and easy to do. Another thing we've also done, if I just go into my projects, is we've added the ability to create looping animations. So if I play this through like this, you can see you can really create some really cool animations. I'll just delete these ones over here and show you how it works. So you simply select a layer uh, and go to motion and you're about to see we've got a loop over here and what you can do is simply add a looping animation like that and just, let's just drag it out like so. And I'm going to do the same thing over here. Let's go in and out and drag this over like so, okay? So you can see we've got this really cool animation and you can adjust, you know, different things with your looping settings so if you go over the settings with your animation selected you can adjust how many loops you want to have how strong the animation is so let's say you want to make it this one quite strong you're about to see it goes in and out a lot further than the other one like that and we've got a whole bunch of other ones as well like position scale rotation uh yeah and a whole bunch of other ones like let's say for example like horizontal rotate like that yeah you can really create some really cool animations so one thing also to note is if you adjust the rotation point, you're about to see that the animation looks a little bit different. So you can kind of play around with that. And yeah, if you've enjoyed this update, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and to download the latest version to see these updates in your software. And as always, have fun creating. In this video, you're going to learn how to animate any element with just a click using our motion presets. So right now I've just got a shape here and if you select your element, so whether it be a text layer, an image, a shape or a video, you can simply select your layer and click on motion. 
And this is where we've got our motion presets where you can um, basically select animations that have already been created for you and you can add them to your elements and quickly animate anything really, really fast. So let's say for example, we want to create um, a zoom animation and I'm going to go with uh, elastic scale up. I just simply click on it to preview. And if I want to add it, I simply click on the checkbox and that adds the animation to the element. So it's as simple as that, just like that. Um, you can also, uh, you know, select different animations. So let's say we want to go with um, something like a bouncing ball. So I could go to slide and I could go to bounce uh, slide bottom, this one here. And if I apply this one to the uh, shape, I can click and preview this just okay. like that. And you basically select where you want the um, animation to end. So let's say you want it to end at the bottom like that. You can also adjust um, the animation settings. So with your animation selected, you have different types of settings. So this one, I've got it selected. I'm, I'm going to click on the settings icon here and you have to see I've got different options. So I can either remove the fade so that it doesn't fade in. I can also adjust the starting position. So whether I want it to start off the screen, I can just bring it up. I could also choose if I want to start over, you know, certain different uh, sides horizontally as well. So I'm just going to start it like this and click on play. And you see we've got a really nice looking um, bouncing ball type animation. And you can do this with like a tennis ball or a football, um, different types of, you know, basketballs and things like that as well, um, and create really cool animations. So once you've got an animation like that, I'm just going to bring this, make it a little bit shorter, and I'm going to go select an out animation. And so it's going to bounce in like this, and then we're going to make it uh, maybe slide or maybe even distort. Let's go with uh, distort like this. So it's kind of going to squish itself down like that. So yeah, you can go ahead and just, you know, preview all these animations. We're also constantly adding new animations in here and different presets. So you're going to have a massive library of animations. Um, and if you want to learn how to create custom animations, go on to the next video where I'll show you how to custom animate any property um, inside Create Studio. In this video, you're going to learn how to create some basic custom animations inside Create Studio. So you can basically animate anything using motion presets and these are the most simple way of animating. So you can simply select, for example, slide right and you're just simply clicking on these presets, you can create really cool uh, looking animations. But what we're going to do is show you how to create uh, more customized animations uh, to your own liking. So let's go and delete this one. And what I'm going to do is uh, basically drop down these properties. And you have to see we've got this little plus icon. So if I click on that, it means I can add a custom animation. So once I've done that, then I can go through and basically choose the properties that I want to animate. So let's say I want to animate the scale. I'm just going to click on the scale right there. And if I just go through and adjust the start point, um, we can create an animation. So at this point in the timeline, I want my shape to be this size, but I want to make it a bit like zero basically and um, to kind of scale in. So let's go to settings and I'm going to bring it down to zero. And you'll be able to see when I play this through, now we have that animation. So we could adjust the duration, just you know, drag it out and you've got that animation like that. And what you can also do is click on this icon or right click on uh, here and click on easing. And you can go through and choose a different easing type. So we've got linear, which is just like a straight um, line basically. And we've got power one. These are, have like an easing um, to the beginning and end if you select both or just to the end if you um, you know choose out. You've got an overshoot one, an elastic one and different types of kind of presets. So let's just choose back for this example. And if I just go and play this through, you can see how it kind of comes up, goes past the, the size and then comes back down to the size that we set. So just like that. Now what we can also do is if we want to adjust um, some other properties with this animation, we can right click on it, go to animation properties or just click on the settings icon as well. And let's say we want to also animate the rotation. So I'm going to select rotation. And what I'm going to do is basically rotate it maybe uh, 90 degrees like that and if I play this through you can see we've got this really nice looking rotation uh, like that and we can maybe do 90 uh, minus 90 would look pretty cool too let's have a look at this one 
Okay, like that. Now I might adjust the size, make it a little bit bigger. So I'll just bring it up and I'll center it like that. And let's preview this one more time. Okay, that's looking really good. So let's say also we want to create some other animations. We can just click on the plus icon. Um, and maybe this time we want to uh, adjust the position. Okay, so let's go and click on position. And what I'm going to do is come to the end where I want it to end. And I'm going to just move this um, maybe back off the canvas like so. Okay, so let's have a look at this. Okay, cool. So maybe with this one, it's quite an abrupt kind of start. So what I could do is just adjust this easing and go with both. So it adds easing to the in and the out of the animation. So let's just um, preview that now. And that looks a lot better. Maybe I'd adjust the speed to make it a little bit longer. Like that, okay? So that's just a quick overview of using custom animations. Uh, you'll be able to check out some more advanced um, tutorials on creating advanced animations with our custom presets. Um, one last thing that I would show you as well is um, the rotation point over here. So by simply um, changing the rotation point, right now it's rotating but in the, at the middle of the object so you can see it rotates in like that. But I can also go through and for example select the bottom corner and now when it rotates you'll see it rotates from this point here. Okay, So you can create some yeah, pretty cool looking animations just by changing up the uh, rotation point. Like that. So that one you probably want to move it across a little bit more. Um, and there we go, we've got a really nice looking animation. So yeah, have some fun trying that out. Um, and yeah, go and watch some other tutorials showing you more advanced things if you want to learn more about creating custom animations. In this video, you'll learn how to import media into Create Studio. So on the left hand side, you'll see a media panel. And if you click on the plus icon, you can bring in any media into Create Studio. So I'm just going to select everything here and click on open. And you'll be able to see that we've got uh, an SVG. This one's a compound shape. We've got a video. You can also preview your videos up here. Uh, this one's a SVG with multiple layers. Uh, we've got image, uh, logo, and another image. So um, what you can do now to customize your content is simply drag and drop it on the canvas over here. Now, because this is a compound shape, it means that I can go through and adjust the color of this SVG, and you can go through and you know, select uh, gradients, radial, linear, or just a simple fill color, and you know really customize your SVGs. And over on the right panel, you can go through and obviously add up some really nice animations uh, like so. Okay, um, also we've got uh, this graph over here. So this one's a um, SVG image with multiple layers. So if I drag and drop this one over here, you see we have the options to import it as an image. If I do that, it will just be one flat image like this and you won't be able to um, adjust the colors. If I go through and grab it again and import it as uh, elements, then it imports the three separate elements and we can go through and you know customize the design and add animations to them separately like so. Okay, so that's how you import media uh, into Create Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how to work with groups and layers outside of groups so that you can basically match up your audio and other elements outside of your group. So let's just preview this quick video and it'll give you a better understanding on how and where you can use this feature. Cool, so as you can see, we've got really nice kind of stomp style music and the text and the elements and the images and things like that are all basically in sync with the beat. So what we've done is basically enabled a feature where you can create groups of elements. So instead of having a million elements on your timeline and it really being really um, full and where you can't actually see everything, um, you can basically group elements into scenes and you can rename them as scenes, for example, or group or whatever you want to do there. And if we just go into this group here, you can see I've got my layers that are inside this group, okay, over here. But what I want to do is basically match up my layers with the audio track. And if I go back out of here, 
you can see I've got my audio track here, but the layers, um, I can't actually see them because it's not inside that group. So what, if, what you can do is basically go into your group and then you'll see this option over here where it says show all layers. So if I just turn that on, I can now go ahead and actually see the audio waveform for the entire video. Now this is really powerful because you can just zoom in like so and you can basically match up certain things with your beat. Okay, so if I go back over here, um, let's go back out of this one and go into another group where we've got text so we can make it a little bit more obvious. Okay, here, so we've got this one's got some nice text coming through and you want to make sure that it's in the same beat of here. So I can just go into this group and you can see that the show all layers is turned on. So now I can see these layers inside my group. I've got four layers and these are basically four text layers. So you can see now if I just zoom in a bit closer, I can basically match up this layer to make sure it's exact in the same time with this beat. Okay, so if it's about here, you can see it starts. The next beat was about here, so you can see I've aligned this one up. And this one as well was, the main beat was about there, but let's say I want to make it so that it adds about there. I can just go ahead and select this layer and then just simply drag it so that it starts at the same time as that beat, okay? And if I just zoom out of here, if I just go back out of here and just preview that. So you can see how quick and easy that is to really you know, make sure that everything's simple on your timeline and you can actually match up your audio, even your vo if you've got a voiceover narration and you're saying certain things, you can create groups and then just basically sh click on show all layers and you can see the audio track and you can align your text with your voiceover um, inside your group. Okay, so this is a quick video showing you um, a quick tip on how you can really use groups or scenes to basically match up yeah, your text, your images, your animations with your overall audio track or voiceover narration. Hi, today I'm going to explain to you how to export and import your project. So we're going to get back to this screen here, but let me just save my project and exit. So here's my project here called Export Project, and you'll notice along with the Edit Project Name, Duplicate Project, and Delete Project, there's an icon which is for exporting your project. So I'm going to press the Export Project button, and we're going to save it as a CSP file. Now I'm going to rename this just to show you the difference. We'll call this Export Project Renamed. So this is my old project. And now to import your project, go to Import Project. And then grab the CSP file that you just created and open it. And you'll see that here it is. And now we can open it. Now to explain how project exporting works, with your commercial license, you can install Create Studio on two separate computers. And when you export a project, you can now import it onto the other computer and vice versa. If you have an all-access pass, not only can you export and import between two computers, but you can also now share your project with other all-access pass users. Now projects do automatically save, or you can save them manually, but remember that if you change a project and you want to share it, it must be exported and imported again. Now I've created some projects to give you some examples of how you can use these. Um, so first of all, what I want to do is show you how to blend in your text with footage below. Okay, so basically what you want to do is add some footage, add your text on top, and go to Mode, and then simply hover your mouse and go over to Overlay. And you're about to see now that we've got this really nice blended look with our text and our footage merging together. And if you want the text to stand out more, what you could do is either duplicate it by using Command D, like that. Or what you could also do is if you select your text, go to Advanced, and then go to Shadow, and just bring up the blur like this, and you can create a really nice looking glow effect. Um, with your text and if you really you know adjust the the whiteness you can you know see how the transparency sorry you can see how much it affects your text okay so it's a really cool way that you can blend text with footage the next one i want to show you is how you can add snow or rain or other overlays on top of your footage and it doesn't have to be a transparent mov so what i've done is just downloaded some uh, footage it's basically an mp4 video with some snow like this 
and I'm just going to drag and drop it on top and just resize it and let's just go and bring it down actually over like so to make it nice and neat and all I want to do is basically click on mode and then go over to screen and the screen mode basically removes the black parts of your video so if you preview this like so you see got really nice looking snow overlay on that and you can also select the one lighting as well that one also works quite well but screen looks probably the best with this uh, footage Another one I'll show you is transitions. So you can get some really cool uh, video transitions uh, and if it just has a black or, or a white background you can really remove that without having to use like a green screen uh, tool. So let's just drag this transition over here. And this one's a really nice one of like kind of a snow ice effect and I just want to reveal what's underneath uh, this transition. So let's just uh, position that in the middle and again just go to mode, go to screen or you can go to lighting as well, one of these ones looks really good, but I'm going to use screen and you'll have to see if I play this through. We've got a really nice transition effect. Cool, so the next one I want to show you is how you can actually colorize you know, uh, footage or images or even I guess characters in one specific color. So um, what I've got here is just some text and I've got a rectangle, okay? So if I just remove that rectangle, you'll be able to see um, this is the footage below, it's just like a blue video background and all I've done is basically added a rectangle over here I'll just go ahead and do it as well again like this um, and I'll just drag this down like so and I'll delete that one. Okay so I've got my rectangle here and I'm just going to call this one color and I'm just going to go and grab a color like purple for example and I click on mode and then if I go over to the color screen mode you have to see that it's added that purple color on top of my footage, okay? So I could go through, you know, and change it to any kind of color. Let's say you want a red background like that. And you'll be able to see if I play this footage through. It really works well with blending the colors together. So you can quickly, you know, create, uh, you know, new footage, I guess, from your same footage using the color type uh, overlay, okay? So just adding a rectangle and using the mode color and you can adjust the color and, yeah, stylize your footage. Now another really cool one that we've uh, that I really like, uh, especially with explainer style, style videos or to add any kind of texture to your video, is what you can do is, let's say for example I've got some scrumpled paper, this is just a JPEG image, I'm just going to drag it down like so and just again resize it, place it on top and I'll just spin this around and scale it up like so, okay? So I've got my image here and what I want to do is basically overlay this on my explainer video and what I would normally do is just try and adjust the opacity but you can see that it gives this kind of white tint feel and it doesn't really you know blend that well with my actual uh, you know video so what I want to do is basically bring out this, these dark cracks to add that texture so all you need to do is simply go to mode and if you've got a light you know image like this paper one over here you can either select darken or multiply multiply works best so you can see over here like that and I've got this really nice texture on my explainer video like that. You can see like so. And if you wanted to make it a bit more subtle, you can again adjust the opacity to bring it down so it's not such a heavy effect. But this looks really, really good, you know, to add some extra style to your explainer style videos. Cool. So now what I want to show you is how you can like, for example, add like a moon to one of your backgrounds. I've got like a footage of a moon over here. I'll just resize this down, bring it across. Okay, so all I'm going to do is again just go to mode and go to screen and you can see I've got a really nice looking moon. Uh, or I can go to lighting as well, that probably might look a bit better. And you'll be able to see if I just play this through. This is actually a, a video f of a moon, okay? You can see it works really well, you know, just kind of removing that black part of your footage and you can be creative and find lots of different types of footage that you can use this screen type effect on. Okay so those are the main ones I want to show you, there's heaps of other things you can do with blend mode so make sure to check out YouTube, you'll be able to find some other tutorials on that and we'll also be bringing out some cool tutorials on other things you can do with blend modes. Um, also we've added a really nice feature to our green screen option so if I just grab my green screen footage here and go to advanced and go to remove color just select the green over here, whoops, bring it over here and bring out the tolerance like that. Okay cool, so this one's quite a clear cut because the green screen's quite uh, done quite well. 
But you can see that for example, if I made it a bit lower like this, around the edges it's quite harsh. So we've added this uh, option to add edge fading, okay? And it basically smooths out the edges. So you have a really nice clean look for your green screen footage, okay? And again, you can just play around the tolerance, maybe bring this up a little bit, maybe like seven, bring in the edge fading around like so. You can see I've got a really nice clean look on this green screen now, okay? So yeah, play around with that. I hope you enjoyed this green screen option. We've also added uh, the option to add custom dimensions for your projects inside the editor. Just like that, for example. And you can you know, make it square or adjust it however you like inside the actual editor. And a really helpful uh, option we've added as well is being able to you know, multi-select different uh, tracks and resizing them all at once like this, okay? So you can really play around with that and yeah, get things done a lot faster than having to do it manually one by one. So I hope you enjoyed these updates. Make sure to download the latest version to see these updates in your account. And yeah, as always, have fun creating. In this video, you're gonna learn how to create a really nice looking logo intro inside Create Studio. Let's just have a quick preview. Cool, so yeah, this was basically created from scratch. And what I wanna show you is how to create this kind of animation. Um, it's really actually not too complex, even though it looks quite difficult um, from the get go. But let's go ahead and I'm just going to save this and delete everything. So I'm just going to select everything and hit delete. And I'll remove that track and this like so, okay. So what we're going to do is I'm going to make the first part, I'm going to show you the main techniques and then I'm going to at the end add some details to make it a bit more complex. Um, but it's pretty simple actually to do. So um, if you follow along step by step, you'll get the idea of how it works and you'll be able to replicate these kind of techniques in your own videos. So let's go ahead and first go to the shape tool and I'm going to go and click on the circle to create a circle. And what I want to first do is actually grab a background image. So I'm going to grab this one that I got from Pexels and I'll just, you know, make it scale it up like that. And I'm going to double click on it and call it background and then simply drag it to the bottom. Okay. And I'm going to lock this because I don't want to edit it. I just want to be able to move things around. So for the circle, I'm going to call it one and I'm just going to, click on this expand tool to bring it up quite big and I'm just going to use the scale over here and just simply drag it out so you basically want to make a circle that's covering the whole of your canvas okay so now I've got my circle I've got it called it one I'm going to click on the center make sure that it's centered and that looks good and now what I can do is simply click on the drop down and I'm going to create a custom scale animation now what you could do if you don't want to do this you could just go to motion and go to in and go to zoom and go scale up like this and you've got your animation and you might want to remove the um, the, the fade so click, click on disable fade and that will remove that and you maybe maybe want to make it a bit faster by dragging that out like that okay so now I've got this animation so we could have that and that works fine as well I just wanted to kind of show you guys how to use custom animation so you can also play around with these as well so um, yeah, with the circle selected, click on the plus icon to add a custom animation. And now what you need to do is basically enable the properties that you want to animate. So for this animation, I want to make it scale up. So I'm going to select on scale and now I've got my properties selected. I can animate them. Okay. If you don't select anything, even though you have a custom animation down here, it won't add any animation. So you really need to select what you want to animate and you can animate multiple different, uh, you know, properties by selecting multiple um, yeah, properties on here. So we've got scale, which is good. I'm just gonna go through and drag it out because I want it to be about one second long, about there or so. And now we have the circle as we want it at this point. So with a time indicator at this point, we have the circle at this size, but I wanna make the circle start at zero. So I'm just gonna drag the time indicator to the start, okay? And then go to settings, and simply make it zero, okay, like this. And if I play this, you see we've got our animation like so, and that looks good. And you can play around with the easing, so maybe you wanna click on the easing and you want it to, maybe you have a both um, easing, so it eases in and eases out. We can see what that looks like. It's a bit slower, but it kinda of eases in and then goes faster and then it, then it slows down a bit. 
Okay, so now we've created our animation and it looks, it looks pretty good to me. I'm pretty happy with that. Okay, it looks cool. I'm just gonna duplicate it. So I'm just gonna click uh, hop on my keyboard Command D to duplicate. And you can see I've got another layer here. And I'm gonna name this one two. And I'm gonna duplicate that one again. And I'll use, uh, rename this one three, okay? So now I've got three layers and they're all coming in at the same time, so we need to offset them. So I'm just gonna drop down this track name and just drag this out a little bit like so. Okay, so maybe it starts about there and this one starts about there. And we also need to change the colors. So I'm gonna select this one and make this one, just I'm gonna make it a different color, like gray, for example. And this one can be my main color, so it's cool. This, let's make this one um, a gradient. I'm gonna go with something like a blue and maybe a green, like this. So you can see now that we have yeah three circles coming in like this. Okay, um, and one thing I want to do is basically have an image that overlays on the second circle and it creates a really cool effect, okay? So currently it's looking like this. Maybe it's a little bit too much of a delay, so I'm just gonna drag this back across a bit and also this one a bit as well. And let's just preview if that looks good. Okay, maybe a little bit more space. It's all about kind of playing around and seeing what looks good to you, okay? Uh, so let's have a look at this. Cool. So what I want to do now is basically overlay an image on the circle. So I've got this image from Pixels. I'm just going to drag it onto the canvas and I'm going to click on this button to make it full width like that. And I'm just going to drag it so it's about the same length as this one. And what I'm going to do is simply click on here to bring everything down and just drag this down like that and right click on it and then go mask with two, okay? And now what you'll see happen is basically it creates this really cool effect. It's basically overlaying the circle, uh, the image on the circle and it creates this really cool effect as you can see. So let's play, play this through, okay? And now what I wanna do, now that I've got that done, I could just go through and maybe make everything uh, a bit longer, maybe about this length and duration like so. So let's preview this again. That's looking really cool. And now I want a circle to basically pop out at me um, and yeah, kind of come in that it can be my placeholder for my logo. So I'm gonna go onto this shape tool, click on circle, and I've got my nice circle. I'll make sure it's centered over here. And you could create a custom animation or you could just do the easy way by clicking on motion and going to zoom and go uh, elastic scale up. Let's go grab that one. Uh, whereabouts is it? Elastic scale up, this one here. And I'm gonna remove the fade, so right click disable fade. And so let's have a look at this one. So it's coming about here, this one comes in. I wanna have a bit of a delay, so the circles come in and then it pops out like that, okay? So I've got that it's looking good. And I'm gonna go grab my logo. So you can import your own logo by clicking on import media and then selecting one from your computer. And I'm gonna drag the logo to the canvas and basically place it um, inside the circle. And you can make it smaller or bigger, however you think looks good on your, in your own kind of view. So I've got my logo line, uh, lined up as well. I'm just gonna add the same animation. So select that, go to motion and elastic scale up. Okay, I've got the same animation. And if I preview this now, we can see what we've created so far. Cool. So then maybe that's coming in a bit fast. So I'm just gonna drag this out again a little bit more so we have more of a delay. And we'll just preview this again. Okay, so maybe a little bit too more delayed. I'm gonna go zoom in a bit uh, and just again bring it out a bit like so. And let's preview this. Cool, so it's like, it's basically like a zooming effect, like all these circles are zooming and zooming in and then all of a sudden one circle pops in it and it basically has your logo, okay? So there's my logo reveal. Now after this time, we wanna basically um, go through and make the logo come down and then have our logo text behind here, okay? So again, to do this, you could just simply go to motion and go to slide and backslide bottom. Uh, whoops, on out to make sure select out and then backslide bottom I think it is, yep. And select that one and again the same one, go to out and backslide bottom like that. And I might drag it out a little bit longer so that it has a bit more time on there. 
So it comes in like this, we've got a logo, and it goes up and down. And you might want to make it a bit faster just by dragging that out like this. And once that comes down, we want the, basic, the, the text behind here to kind of appear. So it looks like it's hiding behind here. It's kind of a little subtle cool effect, but I could just simply add text and go create studio. And I'm just going to place it around there. And what I need to do is basically place it behind the circle. So just drag it down on your timeline so that it's behind all these, uh, the logo and the circle placeholder. I'm just going to make sure it's centered like that. And you could just go and hide these to see it if you want. Um, but yeah, so about this point, we want it to start appearing. So, or maybe at about this point when it starts to drop down. And then all of a sudden it reveals like that. Um, and then what we could also do is just uh, duplicate that one and have your logo name. So let's call this one create uh, your website name, sorry. So it's createstudio.com. And I might change this text font and make it something like Poppins or you know, something like that. And I'll just zoom in a bit and make it smaller, place it below. And then also I want to have a motion, uh, just use a fade in effect for this one, okay? So let's go to fade, fade in. And I want it to st start a bit later, so maybe about this point here. Let's just preview that. Cool. So that's looking really good. And what we could then do is just basically have like an audio track playing on top. So I'm going to try this one. This one's from the uh, audio library of tracks um, over here. If you go to audio, if you've um, upgraded to have the audio library, you can access them from the logo idents. Um, and then if I play this through. Okay, and that's looking super cool. Um, what we could also do, you know, I'm pretty pleased with this one. I'm, I could just like render this as it is, but if you wanna add some more details, you could add some shapes. So if you go to studio and if you go to shapes down here, um, we've got some really nice animated shapes that you can just use. So I'm gonna grab one like this, for example, just go across, uh, maybe put it like so. And then I could just simply duplicate this one and I'll bring it down here, maybe make it a little bit smaller and I'll, I'll make this color white like so. And this one I'm gonna go and add a border. So I'm gonna click on that, go to advanced and then give it a border maybe like four. And I'll go back to settings and for the color, I'm gonna make the opacity of this shape or the fill of the shape um, 0%. Uh, if you wanna keep the border, make sure not to adjust the overall opacity, otherwise you won't be able to see the border. Just wanna go through to color and remove the fill opacity there, okay? And you could go through and select, for example, a circle as well. Maybe bring it out like this, bring it down and resize it and add like different shapes that you like um, onto, on, on here to you know add some extra detail. So I can make this one white again and then duplicate this one and maybe bring it over here, remove that color as well and then go to advanced border, make it three or maybe six, for example, and maybe make it a little bit smaller like that, okay? And then what you wanna do is make, maybe zoom in a bit closer and kind of make them start at different times. Just kind of drag them out like this, to have a bit of variety with this, and let's just preview this. Cool. So that's how, um, you know, you can go through and create a really nice intro animation pretty quickly, um, as you could see. Um, the main parts were you want to just create a circle with a zoom animation um, and then duplicate it three times and offset it so that they start at different times and obviously create different colors. Um, with the second one, we overlaid an image using the mask option. And then we basically created another circle that bounced in with our logo bouncing in as well. Um, yeah, and then brought it down like that. So the best thing to do is to try this out yourself. So go ahead and try and replicate these steps, step by step. And once you get it, you'll have a better idea of how everything works. And so the next time you create it, it will be a lot easier 
um, and then obviously moving forward you'll get better and better at better at animating and things will get a lot quicker and easier because you understand the, how they all function okay so if you enjoyed this make sure to add a like on this video and leave a comment below and yeah have fun animating yeah that is it for today and i will see you guys in the next video bye